Hi, I'm Dr. Sonakshi, the consultant dermatologist and cosmetologist. Today, I'll be talking about a very common topic that is how our skin reacts to rising temperature and how we can fix it. Rising heat and humidity can wreck a walk on both your skin and hair. The frizziness in the hair is a sure telltale sign, but the skin also undergoes a lot of changes. Like it becomes more prone to breakouts, redness, congestion and irritation. The four commonest ways in the skin reacts is, firstly, you're breaking out more than usual. So our body has its own natural mechanism to deal with the heat. So when we sweat, the sweat from the skin surface evaporates and then bringing down the cooling of the body. But when there is increased humidity, this evaporation slows down, thereby causing the pores to expand and to increase the sebum production. And this excess sebum in turn brings about congestion of the pores leading to breakouts, most commonly the whiteheads and the blackheads. So how do we deal with this? One, avoid using thick, heavy moisturizers and other skin products. Use light water-based or gel-based products made up of hyaluronic acid, polyglutamic acid, sodium lactate or urea. And also use salicylic acid in the form of cleansers on a regular basis and use retinol based creams at night so that your skin turnover is increased. Secondly, your skin feels more congested. Due to increased sweating, we tend to touch our face again and again, thereby causing an irritation in the skin barrier, which again leads to blockages of pores, thereby in turn bringing out more acne. And this can be uh, prevented by just simply avoiding a repeated touching of your face with tissues or towels. Thirdly, in this era of COVID infections, we wear masks on a regular basis. And maskini has become a common OPD skin disease which we see on a regular basis. And this happens because the skin already produces a lot of oil, dead skin cells and also has bacteria on its surface. And by wearing a mask, it creates a moist, humid environment underneath it and thereby clogging pores leading to breakouts. This can be easily be prevented by avoiding using oil-based products and also avoiding makeup underneath the mask. Using skincare routines including salicylic acid, azelic acid or niacinamide will help your skin. And also use a retinol-based cream at night so that your skin turnover is increased. Also, remember to dispose of your masks after the day's use and if you are using cloth masks, please wash them regularly. Lastly, it's not only the face but the body also gets affected. The least exfoliating areas like the chest and the back can have breakouts which is called a struncal acne and also can have the infection of the hair follicle called folliculitis. So this can be prevented by using light comfortable cotton clothes, avoiding synthetic clothing, also having a shower at the end of the day with benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid cleanser. Thank you.